welcome to yet another edition of the Full Force News Burst, brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com with me as your host, Chris Devils in the Details McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. Joining me today to discuss some more G.I. Joe toy listings is Justin, I've got a classified series Snake Eyes and you haven't, Bell. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get stuck into this news burst. New G.I. Joe toy listings have emerged online via EverestWholesale.com that showed the coded names for Waves 1 and 2 of the Classified series, as well as possible Snake Eyes product for the upcoming movie. With Wave 1 of the Classified series pretty much accounted for, with just the retail Snake Eyes and Destro left to be revealed, we've also got a lineup for Wave 2 that could include a possible mixture wave, featuring both Snake Eyes movie figures and non-movie figures. It also looks as though we will be getting a lot of product geared towards kids, with another 6-inch wave with basic figures and vehicles, as well as roleplay items and other products. Toy News International posted what they thought were the most probable items based on what we already know, and of course, looking at the descriptions logically, it makes a lot of sense. Justin, it's pretty fair to assume that the remaining figures in the classified series Wave 1 are Snake Eyes and Destro, correct? Yeah, I mean, we saw a bunch of leaks from various online retailers that certainly mentioned those two particular characters, so I think that certainly aligns with what we've seen here. It's yeah. uh, With the movie coming out, it's fair to say that the only Snake Eyes they released would not be a Pulse exclusive. It's probably standard for Wave 1, so then that would just leave Destro as a somewhat wild card, and I think it's a pretty safe bet. I mean, I'm just on the side note, he looks amazing on the card art. I can't wait to see oh, what yeah. they've done with him. I mean, like, there's a lot, of, a lot of different textures and, and lines and, and design aspects going into his actual costume that you can kind of make out on the art. But the it's the helmet and all those kind of, like, almost like the Iron Man lines going on over yeah. the helmet. Uh, I mean, the, just the, the subtle things with that card art are just amazing. Like, if, you know, you, you look quickly, you can kind of see, you see Baroness, you're like, oh, yeah, it's Baroness. But you look closer and she's got these armored shoulder pads and kind of this other kind of layered armored look to her torso and like you said with Destro he's got the layered metal mask and some other different things along with the wrist rockets and the collar's a little bit different than what we're used to it's some very subtle changes it certainly seems from a design aesthetic that yeah. Hasbro is finding that right balance between classic vintage sort of familiarity and new elements which is really awesome totally and of course we've got wave two information as well I mean it looks as though it's like split into two sections he's got three movie figures and three non-movie figures now it's pretty safe to assume that obviously tarantula is snake eyes based on the wave one tarantula that hasn't yet has yet to be revealed from those right. others but that would make a lot of sense wouldn't it obviously for a snake eyes move you've got to have the snake eyes figure absolutely oh, scorpion sounds to me like it could be storm shadow um i don't know about you certainly think about could that. be yeah yeah i mean i'm not sure if their you know kind of nicknames are you know are supposed to be close to what the characters really are but I, I could see scorpion being storm shadow for sure alternatively i mean it could be an army builder type figure couldn't it It could be like a bad ninja of some description i suppose in a more vague sense yeah yeah that's entirely possible ladybug though not a clue i mean obviously we've got baroness and scarlet as you know the ladybug does obviously it's got lady in the title so you, you probably tend to think it's it yeah could be, you would have yeah. Yeah, you would assume that's probably a female, but um, I mean, who knows? You, you never, you never know with these things, I and mean, it could be completely out of left field as far as what the code name is. But um, I, I think it's probably a safe bet that it's a female character, and you know, considering we we know that, um, or we we assume at least according to Toy News International that this mosquito character is scarlet oh yeah the bug would be somebody else what do you think about that then is that going to be like a ca that must be a carryover then right from wave one it certainly seems that way i mean i i think the i haven't looked too deeply into the actual skew number but i wouldn't be surprised if it matched and it's it may just be a, a carryover some they've been known to do that in the past where they release a figure in wave one and then in wave two they just kind of move it on if they think it's going to be a popular figure but they couldn't quite get enough of them in the first wave's assortment and i think we know that snake guys is going to be two per case in that first wave yeah, yeah no doubt so scarlet's probably just one per case and they probably want, don't want to take the chance of short shipping her i mean there was the whole you know after uh star wars episode seven there's the whole where's ray kind of fiasco yeah. that hasbro dealt with and maybe they don't want to run into that sort of thing again and they want to make sure the female figures are plentiful and, and or, plus you know scarlet's a bad it or it's quarrel they'll just do a repaint of <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You nailed it, Chris. That would be dope. Without a doubt, before they do Flint or, or Lady <laughs> Day or, you know, Shipwreck or they're going to do Quarrel, she's, uh, she's a lock. 
I mean, the reverse card art suggests, you know, you've got Gung Ho, Alley Vipers, yes. Red Ninjas. You've got the Baroness as well, and Cobra oh, yeah. Commander, obviously. Do you think, I mean, some of those have got to appear, haven't they? Oh, I, you got to think so. I mean, we, we've always joked that the one thing that kind of stinks about G.I. Joe constantly reinventing itself is that it does the same, you know, eight characters and, you know, all these different scales and and styles and i would think the same would hold true here i would be i would be shocked if <laughs> no cobra commander a, could a you cobra commander by the time the six inch line is done yeah could you imagine if they don't make it wait to wave three and we end up with uh, no cobra commander in i mean it's crazy isn't it yeah it would be but we get like a you know gung-ho and an alley viper before anyway. <laughs> alley, alley viper but no cobra could commander. you imagine uh, um also, it looks like we're getting like a kids line. I mean, we kind of knew this before. We knew we discussed with the listings some of the kind of parallels to like the Avengers product that yeah. had come out, and obviously we're getting six inch figures and vehicles. It says on uh, on the descriptions. Yeah, yeah, that's a little bit of a surprise to me. I mean, the um, I know for the Marvel stuff especially, they tend to kind of hammer with those you know Titan heroes, twelve inch things, and you know, I know we'll be getting to that mentioned in a second, you know, so it, it does surprise me a little bit that they're talking about six potential six inch lines that are geared mm. towards kids. But again, I, I have to assume all in all fairness to Toy News International, you know, there's you know, plenty of items here that are speculation. Yeah, I and mean, it's not yeah. necessarily confirmed. It says like core ninja six inch or something. There's nothing there that specifies specifically that it's that it's a kid's line. I think that's just an assumption that is being made. Yeah. That's um, very true. Or he may have he may have a source, I don't know. But you know, I think it's it's a little bit too early to say that's a one hundred percent fact. True. Plus, I mean, all of this is subject to change too. We probably should mention that as well. Yes. And you're right about the twelve inch figures. Yeah, there's a there's Titan twelve inch figures have been mentioned, the whole snake eyes range there including a featured kind of snake eyes 12 inch figure that might have some sort of sound feature attached i mean all the, i mean n none of this is <laughs> you, you push a button and he doesn't talk <laughs> he just like it's just, it's just like it's just, just dinging in the background bit, yeah. it's like um foghorn in the background yeah. kind of like. <laughs> or it sounds like the charlie brown teachers <laughs> 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 um yeah. i'm hoping more like you know ching 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 and like some, yeah, maybe yeah, some swords yeah, and yeah, some gun guns. shots or something yeah oh it can, yeah it can't be gunshots because it comes with a blaster it blaster come... shots sorry blaster shots apologies hasbro <laughs> Pew, 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 pew. Not really my bag, obviously, with those kind of things. But are you happy to see Joe venturing kind of into the kids' line? This is I feel like this is like the first time we've really seen this. Well, we've seen role-play items for kids, yeah. and we've seen that stuff. But usually when the action figures are released for G.I. Joe, it's always been just the one kind of focus, hasn't it? It's been like just 4-inch or just, you know, uh, 12 inch, or just... Mm -hmm. So do you think it's quite weird that we get... Or not weird, but do you think it's an interesting development that Joe is now venturing into this kind of kids area? It is, yeah. And I, 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 it's a development I like because I know with the re retaliation, they tried to walk that line by giving yeah. us really clunky vehicles with play features that were compatible with the four inch figures but not really compatible with the four inch figures because they look kind of you know clunky and and blocky and you know the motorcycles that shot their front yeah. wheels out and all that stuff yeah so you know you, you ended up with a toy that didn't really appeal to collectors because it didn't really look as realistic as some others Too but it did toy like didn't, wasn't it yeah <laughs> right but it like, kind of it it meshed with figures that the kids weren't really collecting so it didn't really appeal to them either so i would much rather they kind of carve it up and yeah separate the lines and make things directed specifically for kids and then orient some things specifically for us old farts <laughs> massive farts M massive old farts and well yeah that's the worst type um <laughs> and no I, I i agree with that and obviously we did see some pretty rubbish um like 12 inch retaliation figures as well didn't we the kind of rock and snake eyes yeah, kind of big clunky things i mean they've got their charm but at the same time, yeah. it's yeah, it, it was it was kind of throw away. No, no, charm. no zero down. charm. Sorry, it was bull. The waste of plastic. <laughs> um, but <laughs> no, no, just I... kidding. Children who are crying because they love their. Oh, I'm sure loads of kids listen to our show, Justin. I'm sure like. I'm... 
you're like <laughs> top of the list. Should be apologizing to parents if that's the case. I'm pretty sure we're not allowed anymore. I think I've, since I've changed, I had to change all of the things because of that whole scare about you know if your videos were YouTube. for kids. Yeah, the YouTube thing. Yeah, you're not even on YouTube. You're on like Red Tube now or wherever that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, the, I'm on Porn Tube is. now, mate. Yeah. <laughs> um anyway dude thank you for jumping on and chatting Absolutely. through those little bits and bobs uh again quite interesting information more details cropping up uh always good to kind of keep on top of this stuff as well so mate really appreciate you jumping on and chatting about those anytime, anytime or just anytime that i'm not playing with my new jejo classified you snickers son of a <laughs> that's it for this installment of the justin bell is an asshole news burst <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to my horrible co-host, Justin Bell, who has a snake eyes and I don't, so I'm very jealous. See you next time, and as always, always hate Justin. Full force. General's jerks. <laughs> Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing, and commenting on these videos, and as always, you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at the Full Force, liking the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the Full Force, and if you would like to contact the show, you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page, so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content, then check out patreon.com forward slash the Full Force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in. Full Force.